eyes start to shine Fire up your life people what's up what's up what's up um i just want to thank you guys for just taking the time out to listen to this um it's mother's day um first off before i get into what i'm going to say to you about my mom i just want to thank each and every mom out there and i tell you guys happy mother's day happy happy mother's day to ours even the ones them that are not biological moms, but you guys fill in the gap for a mom or of a mom. Thank you guys as well for that. It, it, it takes it takes a different um, a different type of person to be a mom. Anyone, any female could possibly have a baby, depending on the circumstance. Could possibly have a baby our child or our children but that doesn't mean they necessarily get the chance to become a mom a mother to that fa that family or that you know those children or a child so i just want to thank you guys all right um let me say this now marva angela williams my mother Mommy, that's what I call her, mommy. Alright, um, thank you so much for all that you have done, all that you're doing. I tell you how much time, so I can't repair you. Like, there's no amount of riches I could attain in a life and repair you with it. None. For the sacrifice that you give, your own sweat, tears, even blood, your own. I can't give you that back. We don't have that <laughs> to give back. So, only thing I believe any child or children can show to their parents is just the gratitude of saying thank you. We appreciate it to a level where um, it it is it's almost even beyond us. Like we just show up that appreciation every time we get the chance to many right now don't have a mom and is yearning for that love that 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 just that physicalness that they're still able to see they might yeah they might know that their mom went and you know they, they were loved but it's a difference when your mom is still alive and you're still able to either hold her right now my mom's in jamaica i can't hold her but and embrace her but it's just more I just more go off of memory and you know every time when we get to talk on the phone that's what I, I go through that's what I hold dearest to me you know so if you're there and you get the chance to even hug your mom just do it and if I have to do it for all a million minutes or whatever, just do it for even three, five seconds, whatever the case is, but do it genuinely. Say, so, Mommy, we love you. Okay, you never know. All right. So, Mommy, well, I'll tell you guys, I'll just do a little short story time. In due time, I'll do more. Story time was about my mom. But I'll tell you a short story time, you know, just the person that my mom is. You know how she grew, just the how she grew grew with, and how I learned from that. You know, mommy is the person where she'll give her give you her last, and I mean like, mommy have, <coughs> I know mommy have um this and this, and she end up have to give it somebody this, mommy have this alone and she will give it to you 
and she will just you know we young people say we tug it out and roll it out when we roll it out with nothing enough time months years when we roll it out that's the mom that i have you know i learned from that that she would do those things um so many times that Yo, with a, with a almost got a bed. But now I tell you, so more time we got a bed hungry, cause our mom is still, if we get, if I even fifty dollar back then, it has split between me and my brother, and she she will rather go to bed without food. And if there's extra that she might have a plate left over, she will see it for the next day and split it, with, fry it up in the morning, an idea or night or whatever, and split it between me and my brother again. So we'd get so our Sunday dinners and sometimes when we get Sunday dinners, we'll get a plate. And then she will share to friends or other family and stuff and then you know choose to come uh, Monday choose to come the, the leftover and them stuff there. She still use that and fry it up uh, and give get give it back to it. Cause that's the mom she is and sometimes she won't even have nothing out of it. Might take a look at one spoon or something, maybe. I don't know, I never say I take it, she actually give it, you know, and we thank her for that because that shows such sacrifice that that person is willing to give because she loves us that much, she loves us that much, man, such a love to find is very hard, I tell you another word there, very, very hard in this world, you know, um, it is, my greatest thing for just you no know, say God will open up a door where financially we get so stable that we can take care of her fully. She never have to lift her finger nail again. Just enjoy the rest of the time that she have left on this earth. Now nah, it's dead fair, but in the sense of we all know re reality is we're not gonna act like say death no real and them stuff though, but um just for you no know, say she alright. Make sure enjoy the rest of our day. She not have to worry about the bills, them and them stuff that stress over nothing more than just live. Live. She, my mom is a man. <laughs> I know, I try. There's so much I could say. So much. Like, I'm trying to get out at least one good thing, like, like one thing set. But, like, there's, every time I start thinking, like, fl things just flooding in my head. But, you know, mommy, I love you. I love you so much. Whenever you get a chance to watch this, I just know that I love you so much. And I'm always going to be here just doing whatever I can to make sure that you're all right. I'm not it because you did it, but just the person that you are, in, like the genuine person that you are, you deserve such things just to be taken care of. I see I got your whole heap. I got you with my father, <laughs> my brother father, and you still wall out. You never you, know, you never look pan way and basically say, you know what, forget about you and check. you gotta do your own thing. You see you you you, 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 you stop yourself from like enough you know you get enough chance for come a foreign before long before I, I did and you turn it down because what? And even probably even after as well, you turn down because uh, you know I see you're putting them left behind. You know. Who knows if it would have worked out? And you probably could have get us back up after, but you want me, you want you keep us at your side like <laughs> we would have your clothes on. You wanna make sure so we are right, because you know where we are coming from. We are coming from a a, a area, a, a community, a area where even just not even up to this day, when nobody asks me where I'm coming from, <laughs> and I say, Waterhouse, it's like them pull back a little bit. <laughs> and to me, I don't understand. Sometimes, I, most times, actually, I don't understand why they pull back. But I guess because I grew in the area and I know what can go on and them stuff there. I know it, oh, it used to run red, red, red them days there as well. When it, 
you know, I'm gonna leave them now, so I don't know if it's still around that red, but I know my, my time or things used to go on, I used to sit some stuff too. As a local school youth, I go back and forth to school from Balcom Drive, and then we got a pen with like, see some stuff, and like, as a local youth, I don't know how. I get for walk away from certain things. <laughs> as a local youth, boy, God alone. <laughs> God alone did I walk with me because but you do your best moment for protect way as a as local youths I grew up in the ghetto. You do your best. But so we used to have a set set a set aside clothes for Sunday. You know, with a car we look at Sunday clothes and we sometimes anti pam them used to come over when they come from Spanish town and give her a look at ice cream money and you would have take out some of that and save. Do what sometimes me and Charlie probably would even understand. Say, I save it, I save. Or tight. You know, I wish me did more understanding. If you say, Yo, that's how you save. You know, just spend everything. On. You know, like the Bible even show a farmer we basically throw all them seeds. Not a farmer anyway, but. I'm going to get by the story there, but like basically somebody would uh, go plant something. Say a, a, a man go plant a can and it, when, when it grow now, and him take that same can and, and eat the whole thing. And forget for plant back. That it may, that it may multiply. That's what you did. You took from that and you took out of that and put away for it to plant again. Because we as young, young, young look of kids, we wouldn't understand that. So would I just spend all of that and I wait again and say if we ever get no more. But you were you were basically you didn't even do it verbally, but you were physically showing us things. And I am glad that I could this age thirty three I can look back and say, Mommy did all of this just for sure us how it's supposed to be done. How it's supposed to be done. I'm going to thank you for that moment. You know, thank you for that. Like, oh man. You guys, if you understand, like, just talking about my mom is just a joy. You know, like, it's. She's a beautiful, strong black woman. She is a beautiful, strong black woman. You know, it so happens that a February Shaban. <laughs> You know, and my wife too. In February, them born, so you know, the, you know the thing about them. They're very strong in what they do. They're passionate in what they do, and they got full hundred in what they do. Yeah, man. Like, but mommy, I thank you. Remember the days when we not have much, and like every look could change. <clears throat> You know, it's a bun and cheese where you feel for, for uh, two years straight. You know, and for we as youth, we're not, we're not, for we as look at youth, kids, we're not see nothing wrong with that. It was, it just seemed like something for we, bun and cheese, and we a bigger, sometimes bust about a bigger juice. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite was either the cola champagne or the pineapple. Yeah, man. But at them, they used to go, go around regular for two years straight. Nobody couldn't tell, say, yo, we, we ain't need of nothing. Because the way she grew up and thing. And she, and she washed her clothes. To this day, she was still washing my brother clothes. <laughs> she washed her clothes. I mean, like, when she washing them, and up to now, I can't find a washing machine over here. I wash white clothes like how my mother washed clothes. You know, white. When the sun come come out and shine upon that, when shine it up on the line, and the sun come out, cause mama wash from all five o'clock in the morning, a dark over his mom's that wash. So by the time she done, the sun literally just a peep out. For 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 shine up on them clothes there. So she, in the sun, the, the clothes them always get the first ray of the sun. My mom, I'm I mean like clockwork every day. That's my mom time. I get up, I think up to this day. Can't, she can't help herself. 
Just get up them times there. Eh? Yeah, man. Why, like, my mom. I love you. I love you. To pieces. I love you, my man. I love you so much. I thank you for just being the person that you are. You know, um, right now I can't. I can't tell you, I feel like I look a kid again. <laughs> that I bought her. But yeah, real thing, I'm not going to go around it. But mother, man, I love her too. Bad, bad, bad. I love her bad. I'm a thank her and keep her in my prayers. You know, that God will see what through that when, I, when we are the other. You know, love your mommy. Love your whole land. Thank you guys for listening, all right?